Well, today kicks off National Lightning Awareness Week, and it's right on time. We've had a lot of thunderstorms as of late, and things got pretty nasty around here on Saturday, especially. In fact, we see more thunderstorms typically in June and July than any other month of the year across the Mid-Atlantic states. And joining me today now is Bob Marshall, and he's the founder of Weatherbug, and that might sound familiar to you because we use the Weatherbug network all the time here on News Channel 8 and ABC 7. We've got the sky cams. We've got all all the weather observing uh, information, temperatures, yep. but today we want to talk about lightning. Exactly. You know, lightning safety is a, a big deal. It's lightning safety week, and uh, a lot of people don't realize that uh, lightning is one of the number one killers when it comes to weather every year. You right. Just, you know, it's just like one at a time, so it doesn't really make the news, but at the end of the day, there's almost 50 people a year killed, and even worse than that, it's hundreds that are injured. And these injuries are really difficult, too, because a lot of people, they're, they're catastrophic injuries, and they you know, can be lifelong injuries. So it's mm -hmm. really important to be aware. you got to stay aware of your surroundings. And really, there's technology today that can help keep you safe. And we spend so much time outdoors this time of the year, you know, at the right. swimming pool, or people are out camping, um, soccer camps, games, and parents need to really be weather aware. I mean, I know personally, I go to the pool, you right. hear a little thunder and lightning. Right. Unless you're at a lifeguarded pool, a lot of people don't heed those warnings, and that's such an important thing. Talk a little bit about some of the safety rules. When you hear it, it can hit you. Yeah, generally, if you know, the, the National Weather Service says when the thunder roars, go indoors. And, right. and if you don't have access to technology, and that's the best information you have, if you hear it, you could be in danger right away. So get inside. And it's not just in a shelter. It's got to be a, a really uh, enclosed. In a enclosed shelter. It's got to have four walls and a roof and plumbing. Or inside of a car is always safe, too, with your windows rolled up. Um, but, uh, you know, beyond that, just listening and seeing, you're better off actually using your phone because today the technology is, is such that if you have a smartphone, an iPhone or an Android device, you know, you can use the WeatherBug app. It's free. So it will tell you exactly how far the lightning is from your phone. So right now, you know, the, the lightning is 621 miles from us as we sit here today. Tomorrow, of course, we're going to have storms coming in. So, right. you know, just break out the app. Have it track your GPS location. And it'll tell you when it's within 10 miles, you've got to get to safety within right away. Miles, right away. As soon as that key. number, it'll turn red once the lightning's within 10 miles. And then get yourself to a shelter that is going to be safe. Now, I love the Weatherbug app. And I really I get right. a lot of questions right. from people all the time. You know, Jackie, right. what's your favorite app? What do you use to look at radar? What do you use to look at right. whatever? And when it comes to lightning, this is pretty much it. This is the only free one that I know of that you can see where the lightning is close to your location. It is. Yeah, it is the only free app that's got lightning in it. And, and you should use it for sure. It is. It's free. There's no reason not to take advantage of it. And when lightning is within 10 miles, when it tells you it's 10 miles away, you've right. got to get to safety. Get Get your kids in, get yourself to a car, get yourself to a shelter. And how much time then do we need to spend indoors? After the last time you hear thunder or see lightning, how long should you wait before you feel like it's safe to go it, back It out? should be 30 minutes uh, beyond the last lightning strike that's within 10 miles. And the app will tell you that. So once the, once the mileage from the lightning goes above 10 miles, then you're safe again. Okay. Uh, and a lot of times people will uh, try to sneak out early, right? The rain has stopped and you think it's safe and you want to hop outside. But that's Just actually wait. some of the most dangerous time is the, the storm has passed, but there's anvil clouds are up above you, and, and they still produce lightning. So don't go out before it's time. Right. And, and use an app and, or use the safety rule of 3030 that we were talking about because there are a lot of devices out yeah. there that say that they detect lightning, but yeah. they don't always work. No, the, hand, the handheld devices uh, are not real. There's not a lot of real science behind those things. So I would be pretty skeptical of those okay. things. But the technology on your phone, again, the National Weather Service uses the Weatherbug Lightning Day. Data. It's the best in the world. It's yeah. the best technology. Just rely on it. Use your phone, and you'll be safe. And you guys are from right here in Germany. We are. So our hometown guys right here. Exactly. Bob, thanks so hey, much for joining it's us. It's great to be here. Thanks, All right. Jackie.